today we're going to talk about the power of dreaming. So get your Friday video time groove on because we are about to get this party started. So let me start this with a very simple question. Are you a dreamer? And I'm not talking about the dreams that you have when you're sleeping. I'm talking about the dreams that you have when you're wide awake. The dreams that you have when you are conscious. When you know you are dreaming, daydreaming. Have you ever imagined owning something that's utterly impossible? Or have you ever imagined speaking at TED? Or being a New York Times bestseller? Or owning a beach house where you could see your husband surfing right there from the balcony? Or have you ever imagined owning your very own cupcake shop? Now let's talk about practicality versus dreaming. As a culture, we can sometimes be so so tediously practical. We use logic to decipher if a goal is reachable or not. Oh yeah, 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 I can attain that. No, that, that's not for me. I'm not, I'm not born to, to do that. And we create boundaries and sound barriers for ourselves. The part that most of us seem to be missing is that achievement comes to those who want it more. And you have my permission to tweet that. All the physical laws, all of the logic encyclopedias can be bended to make the impossible possible. Only if you dare to dream about the same thing consistently. When a person believes so firmly in the inevitability of their success, the universe has really no choice but to conspire to make this desire come true. If you think about it, all big achievements start with a dream. Before a miracle can happen in your life, it must first be imagined in your imagination. All of the miracles that you see throughout your life from others, from yourself, they are just a physical manifestation of something that was dreamed so passionately inside of you first. Now let's talk about dreaming versus wishful thinking. Dreaming is positive. It makes you feel happy, it makes you feel confident and proud, it makes you dream about the impossible and turn it into possible. Wishful thinking, on the other hand, is dreaming while still holding the belief that you can't achieve it, that you're not good enough, that you weren't born for this, that you don't have the genes or the time. Wishful thinking is negative. So if you really want to make something happen, stop wishing and start believing that you can get it. Now, like I promised, I want to share with you four blocks that might be preventing you from reaching your dreaming potential. Because it has come to my attention that a lot of you are dreamers, and I love that about you. But if you're not being able to transform those dreams into reality, something might be happening there, and I want to help you. Let me first get this right off my chest. It is impossible not to materialize your dreams. So if you are asking yourself, why hasn't my dream materialized yet? You are entering the first block, doubt. You're already doubting yourself. A dream cannot become a reality if you are sabotaging yourself. Have you ever seen a little baby attempt to walk? I am sure that inside their little baby heads, they're not thinking, oh, my feet are shabby. I, can, I cannot walk. And that's for the other kids in the playground. I, I think I'm going to crawl for my entire life. No, that never happens. That never happens. They, are, they, they fall and they fall again and they fall another time and a gazillion times over. But they still stand up and attempt to walk. A baby never doubts its ability to walk. Neither should you doubt your ability to reach whatever it is you are daydreaming about. The second block that I see very often is to have someone else's goal. Do you want to be an investment banker because your society applauds it? Do you want to be a prima ballerina because that's your mom's frustrated dream? Do you want to earn a PhD so you can please your dad? Are you following someone else's dream? Ask that question to yourself honestly. And my advice is to dare to wish your own wishes because those are the only ones that can become true. 
The third block is sticking to a goal that no longer serves you. This has happened to me so, so many times. I can be extremely stubborn as a firstborn. I start a project and I want to get it to the finish line, but sometimes, halfway through it, I get this intuitively gut reaction that I should crumble a piece of paper and throw it in the trash can, but I get afraid. I panic. I'm like, I'm not a quitter. I have to push this through the end, but in reality, goals also have to be revisited. You have to ask yourself if the dream that you have in your 30s is the same that you had when you were 18. Most likely they will change, they will evolve, and the same thing has to be done in the drawing board. Revisit your goals and make sure that they are true to who you are today. And the fourth block that prevents you from becoming a dreaming supernova, it's lack of focus. Oh yeah, I went there. Creative entrepreneur, I am talking to you. Well, you have so many ideas, so many dreams. The universe is confused, to say the least. It doesn't even know where to start. If you're dreaming here, then you're dreaming there, you're pulling from every single angle, you are making me dizzy. Pick one dream, stick with it, let it become a reality, and then go with the other one, and the other one, and the other one. Prioritize your dreams. So let's wrap this up. I want you to dream, but to dream big. There is no limit to what you can achieve. Expect the highest of yourself and others. And I guarantee that you will reach everything that you set your heart to. Remember, you are creating your future reality in your dreams. So don't you dare dream something less than magical. As my colleague Albert Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge. And on that note, I want you to explode your imagination, let it run loose, and use the comments to splatter it all, all in there. I hope you loved today's video enough to share it with the world. I'll catch you again next time. Bye-bye. Twinkle, twinkle. Do you dream of becoming a New York Times bestseller? Do you dream of speaking at TED? Thank you very much. Do you dream of owning your own cupcake shop?